Hey guys, Tate from Florida here. I'm at Historic Bullwear Springs in Gainesville, Florida. Basically, in 1854, this was a meeting site that all of the local area residents uh, met to form the city of Gainesville. Now, many of you uh, might know that the city or the University of Florida uh, says it was established in 1853. So it was actually here before the actual city of Gainesville was formed. So this uh, was the actual um, main water supply back in that time for the city of Gainesville. So this is the uh, Bullware Springs Water Works building. And if you notice, uh, it's a brick structure was built around it to uh, harvest the water. And it's also uh, in close proximity to Payne's Prairie. So it's a free-flowing, uh, gravity-fed, about 300,000 gallons a day. And uh, this was also built to... Uh, entice the University of Florida to locate here. Of course, they settled on a different location than this. So not a lot of water comes out of this, but 300,000 gallons back in the day would be a lot in comparison to today. So like I was telling you about the University of Florida, um, this is also the only artesian spring it's located in, in Gainesville. Uh, tra um, tapped directly with a pipe in 1898. So uh, it provided the city with its own water source for many, many years. And in 1905, it's when uh, Gainesville's water supply was used to entice the University of Florida to relocate here. Of course, the University of Florida was built in 1853 at its current location. So... I don't believe they were about to uh, pull everything up and move here. Um, so this structure you're looking at here was abandoned in 1948 upon completion of a water treatment plant. So these springs now just flow into Payne's Prairie, which help provide a habitat for the diversity of birds, animals, fish, and uh, reptiles. And maybe even some of the bison that are out there. Some pretty good rolling hills here also. Pretty neat. So now you know. <laughs>